Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to sadness in a map. <laughs> Welcome to uh, the hardest map in zombies history. I, 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 I might be going crazy because I have done the same intro now. Like how many times? Like at least 12. At least 12 times, right? Like, and they've been like pretty good runs so far. <laughs> I think I've said the same exact thing. Oh, that, that's a great double point. Um, yeah, I feel like I might be taking crazy pills because I don't even know if this video will ever see the light of day. I might have just talked to myself for like three hours straight without without it ever seeing the light of day. I guess technically that just kind of comes with the job. But there's something about this map that makes it so much worse than all the other maps that have taken me hours to beat because this one is so frustrating. It, I mean, obviously some of the hard maps are frustrating. I guess I should go, in and go ahead and explain because I know every little detail about how hard this map is, but you guys might be might be wondering what exactly is going on here. Let me, let me, allow me, allow me to educate you. Basically, this is a map that is an octagonal ascension. Now, if you don't know anything about octagonal ascension, you don't know anything about zombie maps, it's fine, I'll explain. Basically, uh, the entire map is based on layers. If you fall off, you do die. Oh, that's... Mm, that's not a great timing for the pack a punch, but we'll take it. Um, basically, the game gets harder and harder as you go because the zombies get stronger and stronger, and you are basically confined to areas where you can't train the zombies. Um, now that that's kind of what makes the octagonal challenge hard. If you fall off without PhD flopper, you basically die. If you do get flopper, you can jump off, but it it doesn't make it trust. It's not a good idea to do so. Um, but that being said. The, the thing that makes this map just so, so terrible and hard is the is the fact of the matter that the, the game speeds up as you go. And I'll kind of like explain what that actually means in just a second here. I gotta focus on this death machine because I gotta get maximum number of kills for it. Uh, but basically, the, when, the, when I say the game speeds up, I mean every single little thing that happens in the game gets faster and faster as you go. That means the zombies spawn faster, they hit you with double speed. It's, it's not it's not a it's not a good trade-off. Given you do shoot faster and you can reload faster and everything like that. But um, basically if I hadn't turned around when I did that zombie would have insta-killed me. It is the hardest thing that you can possibly do to a zombies game, aside from like Get making it so you die in one hit. Yeah, like obviously that's gonna be a little bit harder, but um, this one this one makes you the the trick about this one is it makes you think you have a shot before it uh, before it crushes your hopes and dreams. Oh, that was a nuke. <sighs> My drops are not great right now. That's for sure. All right, so 1.6 times faster. Yeah, my drops are definitely not great. The other thing is uh, drops actually go away faster. As you can see, that was supposed to be a 30 second drop and that was gone in significantly less than 30 seconds, obviously. <laughs> Ooh, that is a huge. As long as you keep dying, I keep shooting. Huge drop right there. <laughs> Never turn down a free reload. Oh my gosh, this actually might, that max ammo might have made this the best run so far. And I just threw it all away. That's fine. L listen, actually, this is, this is actually okay. This is actually okay. About this, right? get bored. Believe me. This is actually, I mean, this is not, that's obviously not how you want to start. I also have to be really careful to not fall off the edge. That's obviously not how you want to start. But you know what? That, that, this max ammo is going to help make up for it. It's been so long since I since I had a max ammo like that early on. He should make it a bit easier. Kill them all! These zombies are going to be zooming now. I really, really would like a... What's it called? M16. 
infinite ammo is really good. I think, I mean, I, I, I think our, our point differential is incredible right now. Like, how many points? How many points do we have? 16k? Okay, it's, it's, it's not as good as I thought it was. But our point differential, for what I usually have when I'm forced to buy this next door and go up to the next level, is so good right now. Oh, that went away so fast. The only problem is these zombies are going to be so much quicker. I'm going to be required to navigate. Basically at extreme speeds. Look out, flesh sores. Dempsey's loaded up. Do we have 7k? Should be good for the next level. Alright, this is good. This is really, really good. This is really, really good. Because now we're at the next the next kind of like safety spot. Shit different No, wait. Uh, this drop order is not good because I basically need to save what I just got. I need to save that for a very long time. Now we're talking firepower. Uh, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna pack a bunch of that. I know exactly where we're headed. They're talking better. Start giving us some straight answers soon. All right, that's huge. Okay. All right. So basically what we do now, this is really, this is actually an extremely good run right now. What we do now is that we essentially are point building until we he get a, uh, what's it called? Mm, that new crop is not what we want right now. So I'm going to slow down our point building. Essentially what we're waiting for now is we're waiting for one of those timers. We need one of the timers in order to move to the next area and buy more perks. That double points is going to be incredible. Right, I need to be very careful about not falling off the edge as well. Woo! This is already... <laughs> there it is. So now we have that. It's already at, it's another location that's not good at all. I'll be back once I've killed a few more meat sacks. Never get bored. Believe me. <sighs> that was very close. But we got a lot open right there. Ooh, not worth. I mean, I mean, nothing bad really happened. That was okay. But I mean, we didn't get any. New, I, I guess we got electric cherry, so that so that's good. Okay, I, I take it back. I take it back. We did we did do something good. I just keep getting all my drops at once, which is so bad. Which is just so bad for me. Because you you want all of your drops to get spaced out as much as possible, and I'm just getting one after another right now. Did I get another pack? Oh, I did get a pack punch. Did get a pack punch. Jeez, man. And I'm already running low on ammo, too. 2.3 times already. Come on, baby. Give me that stopwatch. I need that stopwatch.
He should make it a little bit easier. Don't need, don't need the insta kill right now. We got 109 bullets left with this gun. There it is. All right. I think we're doing. We're. This is. I mean, it may not seem like we've done very much, but we've got 27k points with already a few doors open. That is extremely good. The only problem is I'm wasting so much time. It's already on 2.4, which is incredibly bad. Which is incredibly bad. 2.4 times already means that I'm getting like 15 seconds per drop. Which means that even if I do get this drop that I need. Cycle through some more stuff. Oh man, I have so many points. I actually could end the game. If I could get all the way up to the top, I can end the game right now. I, ha I think the ending is 30k points. That was so close. One got to my side and I just didn't see it in my scope. I don't know how much ammo I have left. 93. Oh, we're good. We're good. that just for safety just in case I do fall vulture aid is a great perk for this widow's wine what do we have 10k points yeah we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have to jump off do we though we could, we could we could just wing it out right here. Go for the speed run. I don't like it when people call me a meathead. We could we could just wing it out and go for the speed run. Oh my gosh! This could be the fastest completion of this map. And okay, that's fine, that's fine. Listen, I fell off, but that's honestly all good. You wanna know how this goes by now. Party's over, boys. Fresh out of ammo. That's honestly okay. As long as I get back up to pack Oh my gosh. That could have been an insanely fast completion. All right, I, I literally have everything open. I need 10,000 points, and then I need some sort of drop to get me there. They're going so fast. It should make it a bit easier. I think my points are gonna be okay. I just need, I need either a timer clock I really need ammo right now. Oh my gosh, they're zooming. Forget board. Believe me. Let's go. Let's go. Run. Freaking run, Noah. I don't have the points I need yet. I don't have the points I need yet. Freaking run. Dude, this is such an insanely fast completion of this match. If I can if I can win it right now, I don't have the points I need. I don't have the points. I can't even aim. Oh my god. 30,000 points. 30,000! Don't fall off! Let's go, dude! <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't know how long that that actually was in real time. But in a, like, game time, that was 27 minutes of carnage. Holy crap, I can't believe we beat that. So I just looked up every single video of people completing this map on YouTube I could, and to my knowledge, that is the fastest completion time. Maybe it's not. I'm just happy that I beat it, and it didn't take me about 13 hours like I thought it would. That was, that was not, not, I, 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 I hate to say something like this, because I know someone's gonna do it. I honestly, I honestly could go for a harder map. Ice Grenade, who is the maker of that map, I know you're gonna take that to heart and actually make one. I'm just kidding. I, I just am surprised that I actually got the God Run in that soon. I'm going to Disney World!